What? It's not what you think. I made these decisions completely on my own. Right. But still, if he told you he thought it'd be better for you to go home and return to school, you wouldn't be in your current situation, would you? This is my life, and my choices to make. I wouldn't let anyone tell me what to do. Maybe things aren't going as well as you think they are. Things are going well. Actually, I've never been happier in my life. Hearing you say that just makes me even more worried. Stop it! Shut up already! Mind your own business! This excellent character writing doesn't just apply to Yukari. We see the world through her eyes, so we understand her the best, but the other characters are respectfully and realistically portrayed, each one getting an arc that doesn't feel forced or melodramatic, but just necessary. It's the best kind of drama that mixes narrative structure and pace and inevitability with the meandering randomness of life, to result in a story that goes somewhere and means something, but never feels like it was constructed to. It's honest, is what I'm saying. The dialogue, the prose, the way it all weaves forward is just so good. It's such a beautiful hue of blue. What exactly did you mix together to create it? It's just my blood. <laughs> That's why I'm feeling a little anemic right now. Perhaps you could cure me. I don't mind trying, but I'm not sure it'll work on someone with blue blood. No. Uh, no. No! They're only joking. <laughs> this is that rare and beautiful slice of life that doesn't feel like some 30-year-old's view of high school. This isn't the Disney Channel, this isn't the CW, and it really isn't the chintzy shoujo or moe views of high school, all of which have their merits for various ages, but Paradise Kiss isn't a view of the world aimed at an age group. It's a story about young adults living their lives that, chances are, strike close to how you really lived yours in some way. You might not always like Yukari or George. They make a lot of stupid mistakes that can't be taken back and step away from things you could have sworn were leading them to a happy ending. But then that's adolescence in a nutshell. And the Paracus group's story ends the way it starts. True. Honest. No fairy tale happy ending, but no damning tragedy either, as that's common in Japanese anime and can be just as cheesy. It takes the honesty and frequent meaninglessness of life and growing up and gives it meaning without trading away a second of its realism. Which makes this anime incredibly hard to market or promote or praise in a way that explains how good it is very well. I tried, but there's not really much more to say except you're watching college and high school students live their lives for 12 episodes and it's never boring. That night, when he pressed the handkerchief to my lips, I got a large whiff of George's cologne, and it was ten times more intense than the champagne. Now, yes, part of that is because this story revolves around the fashion world. It's a peculiar industry, and there are colorful, strange people and odd happenings peppered throughout, so Ikari's life is anything but normal, but it's still very much her life, going from one place to another to another, just watching her struggle to find out who she is as she flies by the seat of her pants, or the bustle of her dress, or something, I don't know. If you're looking for melodrama and excitement and escapism, this probably isn't going to draw you in. It starts out very casual and humble and stays that way, consistent to the end. But if you want to be moved by the quiet pauses before a kiss, the softness of a dress as it ripples over a runway, or the hesitant strum of a guitar in an empty room, Paradise Kiss is one of the most subtly powerful coming-of-age stories I've ever seen, hiding just behind a bright red door in a place they call the studio. Paradise Kiss was available from Jenny on Entertainment, so... Yeah, it's out of print. Gets worse here. The original manga by Ai Yazawa was available from Tokyo Pop, so... It's also way out of print. You know, it's tragic that I have to keep saying this in reviews as more and more titles slip into oblivion without a license rescue, so... Let me just give you a visual aid of what I mean when I say this anime is out of print. Oh... Well, okay, I guess if you wanted to find it in singles, it's only three discs long, so maybe you... Oh... Well, that's what eBay is for. Happy hunting! A live-action movie adaptation of Paradise Kiss was released in Japan a year ago, but was never released in the U.S. It's not bad, but it's certainly not good either. It retains the basic plot, characters, and spirit of the story, but totally paints out its more powerful complexity in favor of teen drama cliches, acting and production values. 
Competent, but woefully uninspired and uncompelling. I'd give it a pass. It does nothing to communicate in two hours what made the 12-episode series or five-volume comic so special. The backlight is strong in this shot. I'm, I'm being artistic. Yeah, and also you can see my hair is red. Harder to tell in lighting that's not uh, unconventional and pretentious. Anyway, all in all, Paradise Kiss is a visually unique, superbly written story about transitions, change, and choices many people face in adolescence focused around the unpredictable world of fashion. With the diverse cast of characters running the gamut of late teens, early twenties personalities, something or someone in this story will reach out and grab you with their struggle if you've been there yourself or are heading there right now. The show may not be for everyone. It gets off to a slow, quiet, offbeat start and continues to be slow, quiet, and offbeat every step of the way. So if you get a few episodes in and don't get it, then you're never going to. But for those that do, it's an authentic, emotional experience that moves you as much as it pushes you to think about the characters' lives or even your own. It's a wonderful drama, and I give Paradise Kiss three and a half outlandish outfits... This is so cool! ...out of four. Can't see it, but I'm surrounded by kitties. Let me just here. Get back up here. Boom. Yeah, that one. And then. Oh, where are you, buddy? That one over there. Yeah, some of them can't play nice with others. <laughs>